Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord, I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, and in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys where to find 7 film cameras around the map in Fortnite Battle Royale. This is of course to complete the brand new challenge for the week 2 challenges of the Battle Pass. Now before we do get into the video guys, please remember to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all that kind of stuff, including giveaways in which I've actually got one going on right now. It's a huge 10,000 V-Bucks giveaway. I know it's pretty crazy, but I've actually teamed up with a YouTuber friend of mine by the name of Seven. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to know how to actually get into that giveaway, go into the description of today's video. At the very top, there'll be a link. Click on it and it'll give you all of the details on how to apply for the 10,000 V-Bucks giveaway. Uh, but without further ado, guys, let's get into finding these seven camera locations around the map. And uh, yeah, we're going to start off with number one, and as you can probably see right now, this one is in C1 of the map, right at the top here. And uh, yeah, it's just right of the llama, the huge metal one that you would see. And uh, this is actually a good place to land, in my opinion. I used to land here all the time when I do like duos or squads, and uh, this was actually a house at first. It never used to be a kind of, I, don't, I guess it's kind of a film studio now, and if you just kind of land right here on top of this big huge kind of container area, you will see that there is a movie set here, or a kind of TV set, and right on this couch in front of it is a brand new camera staring you blank in the eye, do a sexy little flip, do a little, I don't know, hype dance or whatever you want to do, all you have to do is dance in front of the camera, and that is pretty much it. You've then completed one camera out of the seven that you need to complete this challenge. And now you can actually move on to Haunted Hills if you want to from here. And uh, unfortunately for me, I didn't actually realize that there was a film camera at Haunted Hills. But uh, yeah, I killed myself. So we are going to see Haunted Hills in the next clip right now. Okay, so once you're on the battle bus itself, what we're going to do, guys, is jump out at Haunted Hills. This can be located at B2 on the map if you do open it up. And the exact location that we're going to go to inside Haunted Hills is this church right here. It's a kind of abandoned, creepy looking one. I'm going to land on the balcony right here next to the jump pad. Going to gather a little bit of loot just in case anyone decides to try and kill me or something like that. And what you want to do is go into the middle of the actual, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, church itself. And where all of these kind of coffins are all lined up, there is a film camera right there. All you want to do is dance on the grave of whoever is in that particular area right there. I'm gonna assume that in one of the screenshots or kind of, I guess, wallpapers that we're gonna unlock sometime throughout the week or something, it's going to be the raven inside that coffin, like, kind of emerging. Or maybe even the skull trooper, you never really know. But I know for a fact that this may be actually be a wallpaper eventually in Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, what you want to do is just kind of complete the game, exit, whatever you want to do, kill yourself, and uh, there's, we're gonna move on to the next location. Now this next location is actually located at Shifty Shaft. This is an old location, but they kind of like revamped it a little tiny bit. I actually used to like landing here, and I always used to love looting this one specific house whenever I would go towards Tilted from Shifty itself, because it would always seemingly have like crazy ass loot. Like I would somehow always find scars inside this building. But as you can see, just past Shifty Shaft right here, there is this kind of gray looking wooden building. What you want to do is go inside it. And some of you may have already noticed that they actually now has a basement. And inside this basement is a YouTube kind of room where you can actually record your YouTube videos, all that kind of stuff. It kind of reminds me of Keemstar's kind of setup. I don't know. It's just missing the popcorn and everything like that. But all you want to do is just destroy half of the items there, get in front of the actual camera itself. And uh, yeah, then you want to dance in front of it and that is pretty much it to be honest guys We're next going to move on to the next location. Oh wait, no, no, no We're actually not gonna move on to the next location But because because I get this epic snipe shot right now And I really want people to see this because I hardly show off my clips to be honest and uh, this one is absolutely insane So as you can see I did get the hunting rifle itself. It looks amazing and uh, I don't know It was just a lucky ass shot to be honest, but uh, yeah, I see this guy right here miss the first shot but then boom headshot just as his head was about to go and did uh, disappear from my line of sight how awesome is that uh, but anyway guys sorry about the hold up let's move on to the next location of the cameras 
Now this next location is definitely one of the more underrated and best looting spots that you can find on the map if you're playing singles or duos. It's absolutely brilliant and I love it so much. And I'm gonna explain to you in a little bit why. But uh, yeah, this place is Risky Reels. And as you can see, there is the big kind of screen right there. And just directly opposite that is a brand new house. And if we just kind of land to the back right hand side of it, there is a door with a green screen and a camera. Feel free to dance in front of it, guys. And uh, yeah, pretty much you've unlocked your little challenge, I guess, or one of the cameras from the challenge, I guess. But anyway, this location right here is absolutely amazing. And for all of you who are not very comfortable with landing at big places, such as, you know, Tilted Towers, uh, I guess, you know, even even some of the places like retail and everything, this place for is for you. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. It is possibly one of the most kind of overcrowded place where you will find chests in such a short kind of time. Like, there is chests everywhere on this area and you will only land with around about three or two people every now and then but as long as you jump down grab a shotgun kill them then you can go and hunt the chests i promise you guys if you're new at the game and you don't feel that comfortable at it just yet try and land here and try and kind of uh, i guess just get used to the game itself and get your skills up it's a really good place and you definitely will not be disappointed uh, but anyway enough of that let's move on to the next locations now for the remainder of the video, what I'm actually going to do in this clip is keep it to all last three camera locations because they're so close together. So, you know, it kind of be pointless in doing little transitions here and there. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to put our map to the location of the racetrack or as it's commonly known by some people, Gus, because, you know, the racetracks actually spells out Gus, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty funny. I thought it was a pretty cool little Easter egg. But uh, anyway, as we're actually coming down towards the racetrack, you will see the house house that is on the right of me right here and if we just kind of look down directly of where I am right now you will see that there are five or four kind of shopping carts all lined up in a line I guess yeah I couldn't have said that any better this guy's shooting at me being a jerk but what you want to do is just kind of do a little dance right here and uh, yeah I'm getting shot at again so what I'm actually going to do really quickly is uh, I'm going to have to kill this guy I'm going to have to really quickly kill this guy and then move on to the next location and uh, throughout the remainder of this clip what I'm actually going to do is fast forward it and everything guys I'm not going to have you waiting and everything so uh, yeah headshot there boom and uh, I'm going to grab his loot and continue on and uh, what the really good thing is about starting at Gus is that over the little hill right here is actually a meteorite crash site and uh, this is where you will find the hop rocks and this will make your little journey just a little tiny bit quicker so what I'm gonna do really quickly is consume one of these and again I'm gonna fast forward the video just a little tiny bit I know that there's a guy in there he is eventually gonna hear me jumping around and he is eventually gonna start shooting at me cuz He's a dick. But anyway, let's continue on towards the southwest or west kind of area, towards this bridge. You guys would have went past it multiple times before the update, uh, but they've actually changed it a little tiny bit in this one and made it so it is completely broken. There's no longer a little kind of area to go past it anymore. You have to build across it. And uh, as you can see, it has this brand new ramp for a kind of vehicle and uh, with a chest on top of it. And just over the other side of the bridge right there is the camera. What you wanna do is dance on here or build over and kind of dance in front of it if you want to. Next, after we've done that, what we're gonna do is continue on towards prison. Now, it's actually not at prison, but again, prison has those jump rocks that will make this kind of journey quicker for you. It's actually at Moisty Mire, and it's at this location right here where I'm pointing it. And uh, like I said, the hop rocks just kind of make it a little bit quicker. And again, I'm going to fast forward it for you guys. And uh, yeah, just while I have this time, what I thought I would actually say is, guys, I've actually got the 10,000 V-Bucks giveaway uh, ending at the end of this month, just after my son's birthday. And uh, yeah, this is actually going to be four winners of 10,000 V-Bucks which is absolutely crazy. I couldn't afford it on my own. So what I actually did was teamed up with a good friend of mine named Seven. You would have known him from his videos such as, you know, building pyramids all across Loot Lake and everything like that. He does some crazy ass videos. Uh, but anyway, if you do want to have a chance at winning 10,000 V-Bucks, all you have to do is go into the description below and uh, yeah, just check out the link. It'll basically tell you guys how to apply right there. But anyway, as we're at Moisty Mire right now, what we're actually going to do is go in front of this camera right here, do a little dance, and uh, yeah, I think that has pretty much wrapped it up for the seven camera locations around the map. 
There is actually one more camera right here uh, over by the kind of crashed helicopter. I'm not 100% sure if this one counts towards that, but you never know. May as well dance in front of it anyway, guys, just in case you're worried that you missed one throughout your little journey. Uh, but anyway, guys, I would like to say thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was kind of quick enough for you guys to follow. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day. Enjoy the new challenges. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.